Welcome to um, Mark's Ghosty Corner and I'm back at um, Belgrave uh, in Leicestershire after um, our investigation at Belgrave Hall um, on Saturday night and seen St Peter's Church, Belgrave Church which reminded me that it was there and I'd forgotten all about it I thought I had to come back so uh, I'm here, so I'm back again it's a cold morning very um, foggy which is very atmospheric but yeah so I'm uh, I'm back at the church there's Belgrave Hall there and the church is just down there so I'm gonna head down there and we're gonna check this place out in the daytime as a side note here's the um, the Talbot Inn um, I did try and show you uh, when we did that investigation but my camera work was all over the place so it was terrible my uh, Night vision camcorder was struggling trying to keep it in focus and that so but yeah this is the Talbot Inn um, I've investigated the place a few times in the past uh, interesting location uh, it's supposed to be one of the oldest pubs in Leicestershire that and the Globe uh, so I'll have to do a video and talk about the Talbot another time and it was a long time ago I investigated there but yeah that's the uh, that's the Talbot Inn So yeah, I'm just um, working my way down to the church. So as I said, there's the, uh, that was the way in when we did the investigation at Belgrave Hall. So that's where we went in. That's where the courtyard is, which is just on the other side of here. Um, there's the, the hall itself there. So as you can see in the daytime, it's a big building. pretty impressive location as you can see I mean it's a bit hard to see um, when I did that investigation because it was night time but yeah you can see there's the uh, building itself in all its glory and, uh, and over here is the church so I'm just going to walk down to it and um, walk inside into the grounds and then we'll uh, carry on with the video in So here we go, Belgrave Church, St. Peter's Church, 13th century, in the, uh, the centre of Leicester. Pretty awesome building to say the least, to be honest. It's de definitely atmospheric, there's no uh, denying that. So now we're here in the daytime, I can actually look at it properly. So we'll work our way in. So we'll just open the gate up and let myself in. There we go. I mean this, this is an awesome church. It really is and it's so unique, it's different because it looks like it has multiple buildings instead of just the one. So as we, uh, as we can see here, so yeah, Belgrave, St. Peter's Church, as you can see, 13th century. So, first of all, it's this pretty awesome tower. I really like that. And as usual, uh, I'm always hoping that some kind of spooky face will show itself one of these days in the bell towers. Uh, it's not happened yet, but you never know. It's got this pretty cool tree here as well. You can see, pretty creepy looking tree. It looks like it should be out of um, the film Poltergeist, to be honest. You can see it's really old but yeah pretty awesome tree I like that got a lot of character to it and actually in winter time because all the leaves are dropped off it looks even uh, looks even more creepy which is pretty pretty awesome I like that so the thing I like about this place straight away is it looks old you know, a lot of the churches I go to and a lot of the graveyards I actually visit, you know, that again, you know, some of them are 13th, 14th century, but the gardens are really well tended, the grass is cut down, you know, the, ga uh, the graves themselves are well looked after and everything else. You know, for the most, I mean, obviously there are those that they're snapped in half or they've collapsed or whatever, but, but this one, you can see straight away, it's got lots of kind of like plant life in it. It's not really grass. Um, you can see all the leaves, the dead leaves from the trees have fallen down. So, you know, it looks overgrown. It looks old. 
In other words, it makes it a lot more of an interesting location to come and visit and to come and look at because you can see the age of the place. I mean, even when you actually look at the church itself, I mean, like here, I don't know how well you can see it because the sun's sunlight's kind of in the way a little bit, even though it's a, a, quite an overcast day. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you that. There we go. So you've got this kind of figure this headless figure, can you see that the, the head's actually missing off it? So that's pretty creepy to say the least. And you've got this amazing carving above it. I don't know how well you can see it because the, the sun's kind of blocking it out a little bit. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? Zoom out slightly. So yeah, I really like that. And then you've got this doorway. Uh, I'm assuming it's not the way in. The reason for that is there's no handles, there's no keyhole or anything like that. Um, you've got this absolutely gorgeous archway that goes around it. Really thick stone as well, it's like really thick stone. Of course, as always with me, I love the, uh, I love the stonework. You can actually see on there the individual bricks, but it's, it's got lots of different types of brickwork actually around it. You can see that. The same with up here. So yeah, lots of different types of brickwork, and you've got this beautiful stone archway around it, and the creepy headless figure at the top. But yeah, that's a big door. Well, I'm assuming it would have been the entrance at some point, um, but it is. That's a that's a really big doorway. Looks old too. I'm not not saying it's a 13th century door, but it certainly looks looks pretty old. You can see here just uh, just past the signage that we've actually got. Um, again, there's a little bit of grass here. I can see which is going around, which is cut down a bit. I mean, we are in winter, so I can't expect them to keep it, you know, really well. But I can see there's like a headstone there, or a couple of headstones, which I'll have a look after. And then we've got this um, side of the building here. There's a cool window there, which you can see. Uh, it's got a metal grate in across it, but you know, sign of the times, I'm afraid. There seems to be lots of signs around here about, you know, that it's been vandalized in the past and that, so they're having to protect the church. So unfortunately, you know, a lot of the windows are gonna be covered up, which was pretty much what I expected. And there's the uh, the tower. So, pretty cool. So, uh, I'm not going to really look at the graves yet. I want to check the building out first, but then we'll we'll have a look at the graves and see if we can like find the oldest one. Um, but I want to have a walk around first. So, it's about as far as I've seen it before. <laughs> So that's what we'll do, we'll have a look. I want to see if these two buildings are actually joined up uh, or whether they are separate, which I find quite quite interesting. I mean, they look like they're separate to me, but we'll, we'll have a look. So we've got the side of the church here, and again, you can see the, uh, the windows, identical um, patterns on them, and they've got, if I can zoom in slightly, can't really see on camera work but there's some like really nice carvings actually at the top of the windows um, but I can see they're like diamond um, they're crisscross uh, kind of diamond shapes plain glass this is not um, stained glass windows at the moment but again cool brickwork love it it's got some really nice brickwork which kind of follows through and goes all the way around you can see the tower just above that. I said it's a little bit misty today. There's a little bit of uh, a bit of a mist about, it, but it gives it definitely a lot of character. And then again, we've got all these um, plants and the uh, dead leaves. These pretty, pretty awesome headstones. It'd be interesting to see which is going to be the oldest grave here, because like I said, it's been a 13th century church. Um, I'm expecting to find some really old ones, but. I mean, definitely 1700s. I'd be surprised if we're, we're not finding 1700s ones. It's got a uh, nice wall. It's got this big old wall which is uh, going around. 
around the church and again there's some more cool looking creepy trees which you can see I'm just going to go over I just want to check this building out over here I'm not quite sure what that is um, before I oh it is joined up oh right, okay so it is one building wow this this is a big church I suppose it would be because it's in Leicester so it's in the city but that's got that one's the stained glass window I can see that from here so actually we're going to have a look at that first we'll come back to this building afterwards Wow, look at this. Actually, we've got a, a grave here. Um, 1859 on that one. Um, so, wow, look at these windows. They're massive. Absolutely huge. Look at that. That is, that is awesome. You can see th these are stained glass glass windows you can see it Let's see if we can zoom in slightly um, again they've got metal grey uh, gratings across all of them but and um, they've got these really cool vines running all the way up as you can see and we've got some gargoyle faces oh, let's see if I can I don't know how much I'm going to be able to zoom in on that because they're really high up but yeah they've got some gargoyle faces and over there as well look but yeah, the carvings, the carvings in the uh, in the windows are beautiful. That is so nice. Sorry if my cam works a little bit shaky. Uh, it's quite cold this morning, so I'm trying to stay steady. But yeah, it's pretty cold. Look at that window. Isn't that amazing? And that one as well. Wow, that that is gorgeous. They are so nice. Thumb was in the way for a second. Right, yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. I love, absolutely love the carvings up top here. That's so nice. Let's just try and look again. Have a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Uh, I can see down here we've actually got this little door, this tiny little side door, which is uh, also pretty awesome as well. It looks really old. Um, definitely doesn't look like it's used, not that I can see because it's rusted to hell. You can see that with the, uh, the handle and the lock. Absolutely rusted to hell. You can't see through this, it's blocked on the other side, so... No spooky faces this time. I've got a really old um, brain's gone on. Latches, yeah. Got some really old ones, and this one discoloured at the bottom. Look at that. That's that's beautiful. As I said in previous videos, you can see beauty in the strangest things. You know, sometimes in the most grotesque things you can see beauty and and when you look at these colors and everything else and kind of almost like the burning in the in the woodwork love that you know what else i love gargoyle faces we've actually got some uh, face level look at that they're pretty awesome I like that and that one here as well unfortunately he's got a broken nose by the look of it Pretty cool. Oh, it's certainly cold this morning. I've got gloves on, but oh, it's cold this morning. Nice archway, I like that. Going around it and the uh, the stonework that we can actually see at the top. Again, lots of moss um, showing. You know me, I always love that kind of stuff. The discoloration in the stonework, which you can see here on the side as well. You can see uh, again. It's beautiful green colour, which, which is uh, making it look really beautiful. And again, you know, you've got these purples as well, so yeah, that's a gorgeous wall. But yeah, I mean, I like the carvings here. There's lots of carvings, even like small details at the bottom of the doorway. You've got these really nice carvings, same with that side. It all adds to it. 
really does. But yeah, that is, uh, that's gorgeous. We have a headstone here as well. Let's have a quick look at that one. Um, and this one, let's see if we've got a, a Thomas and a 1852, so 1800s again. So we've not got any 1700s yet. Got these really cool air vents, spider webs all over them. Look, <laughs> love that! Wow, 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 wow! So far, really happy. This is uh, this is an amazing church. That's interesting. Look, just seeing that pattern on the floor. That's different. I like that. But yeah, so far an absolutely amazing church. Not disappointing at all. So yeah, pretty pretty damn cool at the moment. So I want to I want to go and check this out. I want to see what this is. So that's going to be my next port call. So we don't really have a pathway as such. We've got this. So I'm just going to walk along that in my trainers. Probably not the smartest move really gonna be all wet and sodden but you can see here looking at these graves again 1864 so 1800s um, and I can see on these two as well by the look of it they're 1800s so I've not seen any 1700s yet which is a bit um, a bit surprising even that one looks like uh, an 1800s I can't really see it at the moment Yeah, 1846, so a lot of 1800s at the moment, so perhaps there isn't any 1700 ones here. Again, got a beautiful window here, same pattern actually, over there, you can see we've got the same pattern at the top there that we did, um, with that one over there, so that's nice, so that kind of follows through, and I don't know if you can see that particularly well because of the, the sunlight, let's see if we can move around a bit. There's this cross at the top in the stonework, which is a bit unusual. I quite like that. That's different. Uh, I don't know if I, if I zoom in, if you're going to see it. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, that's a bit different. And we've got some more um, gargoyle faces here. On that side. And one over on that side. And that really nice pattern in the, in the window. Um, so far the only two that have got stained glass in them that we've seen are going to be these two which have got stained glass but the rest of them these and that one are not stained glass and what we've got here we've got a small window down here with a very very big metal kind of grill against it Yeah, um, you can see, so it's again, very small window. I don't know if you can really make that out particularly well, but yeah, we've got some nice uh, nice carvings over the top of it there. And the, the discoloration in the uh, in the glass, again, with the green, uh, you know, kind of like the, the moss and the mold. Pretty awesome. And the same here, look, you can, you can see like spider webs on it. I mean, it just looks old. It just has a really old look about it, this church. And I love that. Absolutely adore it. Like a really old look of cobwebs and like moss and mold and pretty gorgeous in my book. We've got this one, another headstone here, uh, 1847. So yeah, no 1700s at the moment so we're gonna have a look we're gonna see what this is right so yeah we've got this pretty awesome tree here I like that look at that talk about creepy that is definitely out of the poltergeist film 
and again just showing you a bit of this bit of this graveyard and how super creepy and super cool it is i mean i know i've said it before but there are graveyards and churches i've been to i said that you literally could have come out of a hammer horror film um but this one definitely shoots to the top it's got such a kind of weird old creepy feeling about it which is awesome I don't know what this is it's an interesting um little building we've got here this is almost here this is almost like a doorway that's been blocked up you've got this like i don't know if you can see that particularly well let me go a bit closer pretty cool um kind of carving in the middle there a little tiny window you see all the foliage at the top it's a bit i know it's a bit hard to see because the light of the sun even though it's not really a bright day today, it keeps blocking my camera, but you've got these kind of like uh, crosses here. But do you see what I mean? Like all the foliage that's running up, it just it's overgrown and it just looks really old. Same with this archway, you can see some of it's kind of like broken a bit discoloration again oh, I can see there's some more, uh, some more graves going down that way just down there I'll have a look at that in a minute but yeah it's an interesting little building so I'm not quite sure um, what it what it is and that's just the side of it and yeah we've got a blocked up door here so obviously no access I don't know if it was some kind of um, some kind of crypt or I don't know I like the tiles on the roof though I don't know where you can see that wow they're, they're slates um, they're awesome look at that wow that is cool wow that, that is a that is a laptop background screen grab that is that's gorgeous so yeah it's always blocked up so we're not going to find out what that is and i can see there's no access down here got like uh, barbed wire which is going all around it you can see that they're not messing around here but yeah look so you got like barbed wire all the way around So yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a look round the rest of the uh, the rest of the church. So I'm just going to um, work my way um, down this way. So we'll have a we'll have a look and see what's down the side. But yeah, so you can see there's lots of trees around this one. So most of the leaves have fallen off. Pretty interesting there. Right, so let's have a look down here then. Again, I'm surprised. I was expecting some of the graves to be uh, to be older, but oh, mind you, I can see some cool-looking um, stone coffins here. I'll have a look at them in a sec. I keep I keep saying cool or amazing, and I, I, but it it really does sum this place up. Love it, and um, it's a lovely little window as well. Look at that beautiful it's interesting it's a really interesting church just the way it's you know the shape of it, it's unusual it's really unusual I mean I'm definitely saying that I mean these things we're used to these the side pillars you know I see them all the time um, but like the top and everything you know the, the kind of like the shape of it it's just really unusual and I like that, so it makes it look really different. Yeah, unique. You've got these massive trees all the way around. I'm considering there's a lot of trees here with a lot of deep roots. Most of these um, graves seem to be standing up absolutely fine, which has um, surprised me, really. So here we've got uh, 1871, so again, 1800s. 
1880 again 1800s this one looks old let's have a look how old is this no 1867 and 1861 so a bit of damage on this one look so yeah 1800s but what i've just noticed is these stone coffins which is uh, pretty interesting look at these Oh, these must be like for children or something because they're really small like these are really really small and this one as well but yeah um 1892 on that but yeah they're really really small tiny and this one over here look at this absolutely uh tiny tiny stone coffin that's really sad same over here as well really small covered over in moss now and mold and but it's like beautiful green color to it but yeah really really sad that it's so small obviously for a child and then you got this bigger one here so i'm guessing maybe this is for a parent or um But yeah, it's got some like beautiful kind of like carvings in it that you can see here. And same with, with these as well. I see they've got a window uh, here, but it's all blocked up. Uh, I guess that's stopped vandals and the such like. Uh, and we've got some... Um, I can see that, but we've got some gargoyle heads on either side, look. I can just see actually, I don't know well you're going to see it, I can just see some stained glass through uh, the window here. So we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute on the other side. I love the overhanging tree here, you can actually see that, that's gorgeous, I love that. And then you've got this window again, uh, the diamond pattern and again the same carvings at the top. So yeah, awesome. We'll just step back out and let's just show you that section a little bit more from afar. So yeah, you've got all those stone coffins and again this one here which was broken. Uh, that's 1800s again that one. Didn't really focus on that uh, too much. But then yeah, you've got this absolutely beautiful bit here on the side. I'm trying not to be Mark's moaning corner, but my hands are so cold. Oh my God. I've actually had to resort to putting gloves on on the one hand. I can't do it on both because I can't video, but oh my God, I feel like my hands are going to break off. Look at this. this. Oh my God, this is massive. This stained glass window is absolutely huge. Look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely gigantic. I, don't, I can't even back off enough to actually show you that. That is, you've got obviously the, the kind of like the um, trees in the way of it, but that is absolutely huge. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on that. Look, we've got this beautiful stained glass which I should imagine on the other side would look absolutely fantastic you can't really see it because of the metal grills here um, but yeah I can see it's stained glass we've got a gargoyle face there I'm assuming yep we've got one over there as well but yeah I can't I can't express how big this window is it's absolutely gigantic <laughs> that's amazing Wow, I like that. So yeah, that's the way I've just come. Oh, this looks like a 1700s. It's got that kind of uh, carving in it. And let's have a look. Can we? Can we see? Yep. Oh, we got one. All right. 1772. Uh, nine. Sorry, not two. 1779. So we finally found one. 1700s. Right. Okay. So. Cool. We'll mark that in my memory, which I'll remember for about two seconds and then 
and then forget. But yeah, like I said, it's it's just a really interesting church with lots of different little nooks and crannies to it, and the carvings just make it unique. The same with the stonework, which we can see here. And there's like you see there's some damage to the stonework here, and then you've got these like spider webs. This is a really old, interesting church. There's no denying that. I can see we've got a bigger graveyard uh, around here, as you can see. Um, and it's a little bit misty, like I said, so it kind of sets that atmosphere, which is pretty, pretty awesome. But I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stick it because it's so cold. My, literally, my hands are blooming freezing, so... I might have to just show you the graveyard and come back another time and see if uh, I can find the oldest grave. Maybe in summer. <laughs> it's a little bit warmer. But it's so cold. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pleased at least I found some 17, uh, well, one 1700s um, headstone anyway. Oh, God, it's so cold. But it's a lovely little doorway here. I like this. You know me, love little doorways. Pretty awesome door there, look at that. That's cool. And again, we've got some um, stone carvings in it, look. Stone face there, and that one's sadly damaged, broken off. And I've got this awesome door. And you got the um, bracket going across. And you've got a, a keyhole with spider webs in it. Again, blocked off so you can't see through it, but yeah. A lot of spider webs around here. But yeah, that's a, that's a gorgeous door. And again, really, really nice archway going over it. You can see the windows here. Let me just quickly show you that. There's, there's quite a few of them. Um, they've all got the same patterns. They're all exactly identical They're at the top. You can see exactly the same. Um, these are all stained glass as well. All of them. So that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. But yeah, you can see, if I zoom in, you can see the, uh, the stained glass. I mean, I'd imagine on the inside looking out, it would be absolutely beautiful. They've all got little like gargoyle heads on the side of them. But yeah, like I said, I'd imagine um, the inside, it, you know, if it was a really bright, nice day, like in summer, looking looking out of these stained glass windows, I bet it would be really impressive. I've just seen this one over here, this window. It's got this really nice kind of carvings on the top of it as well. Again, stained glass. So that's uh, another beautiful window there. This place just oozes character. It really does. It's incredible. I think I might have found a, a new favourite church, to be honest. It's just got such character about it. I absolutely adore it. It's just different. You know me, I, I love churches that are different. Wow, pretty awesome. So yeah, I mean the, the stone coffins that I've seen, oh, the stone coffin there and the, and the headstones, they all seem to be um, 1800s that I can see. I'm not really seeing any of our 1700s at the moment, um, but it's just too cold for me to, to go around every single headstone looking, I think. I'm just gonna focus on the church itself today, I think, more than anything else. You can see all these stonework, these like almost like pebbles going all the way around. It's pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, I've just noticed there's a, like a little window over here, so I'm just gonna go and have a quick look at that. All the way around. Let's see if I can show you that. Oh, you can see the stained glass a little bit better there. Look. Wow. 
Yeah, you've got this uh, kind of archway, which is strange, almost like there was originally a door or something there, but it's a bit different from what we've seen before. But yeah, you've got this little little window here, look. It's a, bit, it's a bit unusual, a bit strange. I wonder if that's more like the crypt. Some kind of lower chamber or something, because it's just really strange. It's such a small, such a small window. But it's got stained glass in it, so obviously it must be important for them to put the stained glass in it. But it's like a really, really small window. It's just it's really strange. See how red my hands are? It's so cold. Shut up, Mark. Awesome, though. Even the, even the air vents are awesome. Look at that. The spider webs creeping us. Cool windows. And that one as well. Look, look at that. Got all this kind of light stained glass on it, which you can see. And the uh, through the, the grill. Love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, these ones, um, I can see uh, just, I'm not going to go around all of them, but I can see 1800s, same with them, they're all 1800s, I've um, got a stone coffin there, it looks a little bit newer to be honest. The only thing I saw was down here, I can see one that looks like it's old, but I can't actually see anything on it, I did check on both sides and I couldn't see anything, and there's one here, but again, Kind of 1809, so old, but not like mega old. I got this one. Um, I think that's. I think that says 17 something. Can't really read it. 17 something, possibly. Um, but like I said, there's literally. You can see this just like headstones all over the place around here there's absolutely loads of them going all the way into in the undergrowth in there as well but i'm telling you mate it's too cold i can't i can't be out here that long looking for this lot it's just too cold sorry i might be dedicated to the cause but i'm not that blooming dedicated i'm gonna freeze my fingers off so they snap off now you're all right That'll have to be a video for another time when I do a revisit and come back. Just going around, this is the back. And we've got this really interesting, uh, I, th I think it might be a doorway, perhaps it's like the, the entrance into the place, but it's like really elaborate. I mean, like I said, I know it's kind of like 13th century, but that looks a little bit more newer. It's kind of more like what the they would have done in the 1800s, you know what I mean? With the kind of strange little tower carvings on it so we'll just have a quick look at that I mean look literally there's headstones all over the place I mean it's what you'd expect in a city centre so yeah that's another revisit for another time um, and again creepy cool looking trees kind of all over the place look at that It's got smaller windows on this side, there's two of them that I can actually see. Uh, again, they're all grilled up, so... And I think they're stained glass as well, I can't really see particularly well. Um, they are quite small windows, but yeah, they're all stained glassed up. You can see the tower just about over there. The bell tower. So yeah, let's have a look at this. Let's check this out. This is really different. I mean, look at this thing. You were talking about an impressive kind of like entry into the church. But it definitely looks more like a later edition, like an 1800s thing, you know. It's got some writing on the side. I'll have a look at it in a sec. But yeah, you can, you can see all these carvings. And this um, kind of gargoyle face there, look.
Yeah. Oh, that's definitely unique. That's definitely not something you see every day. Look at that thing. Let me just back up a little bit and then I'll, I'll go a bit closer and see if I can check the right now on the other side. But yeah, look at that. That is definitely an impressive entrance into the church. There's no denying that. That is un that's really unusual. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And again, just showing you the creepy looking graveyard. It's really quiet around here at the moment as well. And there's the, uh, I don't know if you ask, the back of the tower, the front of the tower, there was a door on the other side, and then of course there's this, this side, so I don't know, is this the front? So maybe that's the front of the bell tower. And obviously that's, uh, that was the other side of where I was looking before, so. So yeah, I think, we'll have a quick look on this. Um, and then I think I'll do a conclusion of this one before my hands snap off. And I've got a little window, another window there, which again, stained glass on it, but it's just, it's just grills, like really heavy grills all the way across, so it's really hard to see. So let's just have a quick look. There's some writing on the side. So let's just check that out. Here it is. Most of it's kind of broken off now. You can see it's kind of come off, but I can see uh, here it's got uh, 1834. So yeah, it does. It looks like it was actually uh, built as a later addition. I think it was more like a, a memory. It's saying the memory of Elizabeth, uh, the wife of William. So yeah, I think they must have donated some money to the church, like in memory of. Um, so that's pretty grand, isn't it? But yeah, so you got all this writing on the side, but it's most of it's broken off now. You can't really see, which would explain why why it looks like it's more of an 1800s thing because it is. But it's like uh, an in memory of. Look at the look at the brickwork. It's different actually. The the brickwork's different the whole way round. You know, you got pebbles, and then you've got this. Almost like slate looking brickwork. Which is uh, which is different as well, I like that too. So yeah, pretty cool. Right, so I'm gonna work my way back round um, the other side of the church and then we'll do a little bit of a conclusion of it. And, um, and then I'm gonna get in the car and put the heating on. I keep moaning how cold it is, but you're not out here. You don't. You don't see it. But well, I'm kind of gutted though, because I do want to spend more time. Um, you know, especially looking at the headstones. But like I said, I can't. I'm just going to have to uh, enjoy the fact I've actually come out here and seen what I've seen. Look at that. I just saw a little, little interesting kind of small window there. I don't know how you can see that with my shaky hand, but it's got a cross in it. <laughs> awesome. And you've got the tower there, look. Cool. You've got these signs everywhere going on about the stonework, look, the ironwork. <laughs> but yeah. This is one really unique church. And, you, and it looks old. I keep saying it, but it definitely 100% looks old. And I really like that. This is definitely a unique place. There's no denying that. So I'm going to uh, work my way around. Got this uh, nice stone wall here. I mean, obviously on the other side it was that really tall wall, um, but it got this kind of nice lower lower size kind of like stone wall going around. Really posh area around here. Lots of big houses, lots of manor houses. Um, Belgrave is a, is, a, is a wealthy area, really, in that, that respect. So I'm just going to work my way out. 
<clears throat> you got this public um, kind of footpath, so you got residential homes over there. And the graveyard, of course. And the church, the tower. But yeah, we'll um, we'll work our way back round to the other side. And then I've got to give this thing a rating. I've got to, I've got to rate it. I have to rate them always, as we know. But I definitely need to uh, to give this one a rating. Let's just put it this way: it's going to be it's going to be high up. It's going to be high up on the on the rating list. This place is just too creepy, too cool, it's too cold. <laughs> My my place is my cup of tea, really. Weird twisting trees. The fact it's misty just kind of adds to it as well. And a really unique, different type of church that just says it's old. Anyway, let's work our way around. Let's get around the front or the back or whatever it is. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a rain. Oh look, there's another little door there. Oh, I'm guessing that's going to the going to the tower. But yeah, you got this like little door. There's like another little window there. So I might try and see if I can sneak around and have a quick look at that. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. I keep saying I'm going to do a conclusion. That's, that's my my little finger's just broken off. Um, and then I see something new. So yeah, let's get let's get around the other side again. Uh, there we go, there's a better angle of that door. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Um, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? And then you've got this, uh, like I said, you've got this light little window there, which I'm guessing spirals up to the, uh, the top of the tower. Cool. Right. And that's where I was before, just, that's where I started, just over there. You got that window on the side. Anyway, right, okay, let's, let's go around the front. Okay, right, so I'm back through the front where I started. Or the back, or whichever way you want to look at it. So, obviously we've got the sign there. So let's give this thing a rating. Let's see um, if I can actually rate... Belgrave St. Peter's Church 13th century building pretty awesome pretty pretty cool pretty creepy could be in a horror hammer horror film pretty damn awesome so the upkeep of the grounds is a tough one because like I said you've got all this vegetation on the floor now normally I'd say it's not very well looked after it's not really well kept but you've got to remember all the leaves have come off the trees and they're on the ground rotting now it is winter um, and looking around the other side of the church where obviously the rest of the, the headstones are um, the grass looks a little bit overgrown so normally I would turn around and say not really well tended but this place it just it's part of its character and that's what it oozes it oozes character so i'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 you know with the fact it's not well tended keeps the place looking unique and and makes it individual so yeah 9.5 for me i absolutely adore it it's just it's it's gorgeous the actual church itself again completely unique different loads of interesting bits to it really makes up the character of the church so it's a 9.8 for me right at the top of my list it's just so different absolutely adore it um yeah 9.8 that's it absolutely fantastic graveyard not many old headstones that i could see not many um 1700s but again um not really had a chance to look at them all but again they look creepy you <laughs> know cool it fits the character of the church uh so yeah nine out of ten for the graveyard uh, I mean I'd, I'd probably move that rating up higher if I'd actually gone around and looked at all the headstones but it's just too cold I can't so overall for spookiness uh, creepiness age the place feels haunted I mean it really feels haunted um, I'm, I'm giving this one a, a 9.8 as an overall score absolutely amazing church I love it 
I'm really glad I came. Fantastic location. I'll definitely come back in the summer when I can have a proper look at the headstones. As I said, it's a really, you know, it's a posh area. You've got all these big houses everywhere and that. You've got Belgrave Hall itself. But yeah, I'm giving St. Peter's Church in Leicestershire 9.8 out of 10. It's amazing. It's unique. It's got character. It's got personality. And it's even got the mist. It's brought the mist with it. What more can I ask for than that? So as far as I'm concerned, it shoots right to the top of my list. A fantastic, creepy, cool, old 13th century church. And what more can I ask for than that?